I have been getting so many questions about why my photos really look sharp when I post them onto Facebook or any other social media platform. So this tutorial is about how you can export sharp images and not only sharp images but also having images that are not going to be able to change in color when you put them on another device or when you print them out or when you post them on social media or a given website. So this is a tutorial about the best export settings or the settings I use to export images in Photoshop after doing the screen retouching. And this particular image, I color graded it using my camera raw presets and I'm going to put the link for you guys in the description of this video so that you can support this channel for the free content that I usually create for you guys. So it is more of supporting the channel in a good will. If at all you do purchase uh, these presets of camera raw and they are called the Omega presets for camera raw and Lightroom. So let's kick in and we learn about this very important technique for today's tutorial. So if at all you find this helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. I realize most of you guys don't like the videos you watch, but you maybe forget to hit the like button on the video. So make sure you hit the like button just right now so that you don't forget later on. So before you can even export the image, you have to ensure that you set up the social media platform. For example, for Facebook, usually Facebook software or the application or the website usually has that kind of format where by the tend to compress all the files so that they can have a, th a smooth workflow or smooth running of the website or the application. So they tend to compress each and every photo that is going to be uploaded. So what you have to do first of all, you have to go into the Facebook website then you go straight into the settings and after you go to the settings simply go to media and when you go to media and you have access to that option you can simply go and activate upload hd that is for the photos and also the videos you upload the hd version of the video so that you can have images that are not going to be compressed at all and the images are going to be sharp so that is for the posting part of it but in order to export the images the best and right way possible i know most of you simply come and you come just right here to file and you come to maybe save or save as but this is not going to be sharpening the image and you're going to be having those color change issues every single time you try to put the image on a, give it a, a different device or maybe a different website or when you post on Instagram or Facebook. So the best way is you have to simply come to file, come to export and you come to export as so. After doing the retouching and color grading and everything, this is more of the final step to add some kind of sharpening to the images. So. You have to come and make sure the format is JPEG. So the reason for selecting JPEG is because we want this image to be supported by almost every social media platform out there and maybe every website out there. That's why I would recommend that you always choose or select JPEG. Then the quality you have to make sure the quality is 100%. Then the image size or this option is also important but usually I don't tamper with the width and the height of the images I don't tamper with that I just leave it as uh, the way uh, Photoshop gives me the details about the image then I also don't tamper with the scale I leave it at 100% so the other option is coming to resampling and this is where the first part of the magic is going to take place. So you can see by default you have bicubic automatic. I hope you can see this. So we have 
various options we have by cubic by cubic automatic by cubic sharper by cubic small smoother i don't know what's wrong with me today but the option that we want to use is by cubic sharper because we want the image to be really sharp and crisp sharp after we have been able to export it so we're going to leave the canvas size i'm just going to leave this the way it is meant to be and you can as well add some copyright or metadata info if at all you embedded it in your file or image but i don't find this really necessary but if at all you are that kind of person that loves to add copyright or some kind of information and embed it in your images i would recommend that you also uh, play around with this or you can embed your metadata so i'm just going to leave this at none and after doing that we have the color space so you know like i said at the start of this tutorial there are those instances for example most of us that shoot in raw uh, we tend to put the image maybe on a different device and it tends to change in color so you'll have varying images it will be the same image but the color profile is going to be really differing the image you'll have in your photoshop is going to be different from the image you're looking at the or on another device so always make sure that you come to this option right here which says color space so you have to make sure that you check both options right here so under color space right here we have convert to srgb and also embed the color profile so srgb is really supported by almost every a device out there and maybe every social media platform but remember we also added colors into this particular image when we are doing the color grading process so in order to embed or fuse or merge these colors into this particular image we have to come and make sure that we also check embed color profile so that the profiles in the photoshop software can also be embedded or integrated into this particular image and after ensuring that you are you have really mastered everything right there you can simply come and hit the export option so you have to maybe you can rename your file if at all you wish to so i'm just going to name this maybe export and you can now come and choose the location for storing your image so i'm just going to store mine in or on my desktop and after doing that simply hit save and it's going to be saved and after saving it is automatically going to close this window and go back into the interface of photoshop meaning we have successfully saved this image and it's going to be a sharp image but remember like i told you at the start of this tutorial this doesn't stop at exporting the image or you also have to change the settings of maybe facebook and in order to change the settings you, you have to simply go to settings then you go to media and you activate hd or upload hd for the photos and the videos so that you can have a better experience when you upload your sharpened or very nice and beautiful image that you exported from photoshop so this is basically it for today's story and if at all you have loved this story don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been liking or watching and you have never subscribed this channel ronix from ronix photographer and don't forget to check out my camera row and lightroom omega presets and the link is going to be in the description of this video and i'll see you in yet another story and don't forget to keep practicing keep creating and you'll be a great photographer and retoucher out there.